Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for Sign of Aquarius, and keep in mind that this will not resonate for all of you. If you like a personal reading, that is going to be down below in the description, where you can find that on my website. You can find a bunch of other things there on the website too, but we have the Queen of Cups, so this is telling me you're very deep in your feelings. You're very deep in your emotions today. All right, we're going to pull one card for the theme of the day, and then we'll see what else we have going on for you. So what is the theme of the day? It is going to be the Three of Wands. All right, and this is my Aquarian Spirit Tarot. You can also find that on my website in the shop section. But the Three of Wands, this tells me that you have three things that you've been waiting for that are coming into your life. Three things you've been expecting, three things you've been working towards, three things you've been trying to manifest. They are coming in Aquarius. Okay, now we have Wands, so we're going to go over here. And we're going to be using a bit more tarot in this video. Okay, for the ones that just like tarot. Hermits. I don't know if some of you guys may be in the hermit mode currently. Here, but it, it feels like you're, you're busy, even though you're in the hermit mode. Um, some of you guys can also have Virgo within your birth chart. There's a lot of things that just fell. It's a king of cups here, too. There's a four of swords. There's a four of pentacles. There's two fours. Aquarius fours represent our stability, our foundation. So it feels like you've been focused here on building your, your stability and your foundation. And you've also been having this balance between work and rest here. There's a king of cups, though. There's a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio that's been in hermit mode. I feel like they're coming out of hermit mode to speak to you here. This could have been one of the things you've been waiting for. Okay, this person could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or maybe they have a bit of Virgo in their chart here too. All right, but it feels like you've been busy here on just work, working your butt off here, strength, also potential Leo. Yeah, it feels like you've been busy. You've been busy being Miss Independent or Mr. Independent here. You know, you've been busy focusing on your coins, focusing on your money, focusing on your business or your job or, you know, things that will make you be successful financially with the six of wands you know you have money coming in fast you've been working towards this now it's coming in Aquarius okay so what you've been working towards is coming in like I said it could be one of the things you've been waiting for you've been waiting for the money it is going to be coming in though there's a king of wands with the three of swords why do we have the king of wands with the three of swords Clarify. Three of Swords in the King of Wands. What is this? What is this doing here? And Aquarius is reading. A lot of cards just fell out for this. What is it? It's a Queen of Pentacles. It's a Nine of Swords. A Ten of Cups. A chariot. A King of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Let's put these away. There's a lot of people here that popped up with this. The world. The Two of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups. I don't know if there's somebody here that put you in like a lot of third parties that caused some sort of heartbreak. For some reason, they're popping up in your reading. Either it's somebody here that put you in a lot of third parties or it could be somebody that's part of your family, like some sort of family drama or family heartbreak here. For, for some reason, for some reason, this is popping up. I don't like it though. To be honest, I don't like it. I don't really like it. For some reason, this person is popping up in your reading. Hmm. I don't know if you like see something again about them or. I, I feel like you don't talk to them directly or they don't talk to you directly, but I feel like you see some sort of posting about them. That reminds you of them. That's probably why they're popping up in your reading again. I feel like this person's put a lot of burdens on you. Whoever they are. They could have been a fire sign, Aries Leo, or a Sagittarius with the King of Wands. But it, it doesn't have to be that sign. You know who it is by because because you guys know who you're dealing with and not dealing with in your lives. There's cards that just flipped out for you. It's the Lovers. The Seven of Wands with the Nine of Swords. Yeah, for some of you, that this person could have been like a lover, but they put a lot of burdens on you, and they put you in a lot of third parties. There may have even been drama with their family. This person has caused a lot of stress in your life here. Ugh. 
Don't really like it. <laughs> Don't really like this reading, Aquarius. But you got new love coming in. So everything of the past, you know, it's all just the past now. Because you got somebody new coming into your life. Somebody new, Aquarius. This is something fresher. It could be a Cancer coming in. Here, you may have an option between two new loves here. One could be Cancer or one could be another Fire sign, Aries Leo or Sagittarius and an, an Aries here. One could be a new Aries, one could be a new Cancer, a Zodiac sign. Even if you dealt with an Aries previously, it's like you have a new one coming in. Also potential Air too. Air is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You have a lot of people coming in here. The Queen of Cups, Two of Cups. Yeah, you have love. You have love options. And I feel like you may have an option between three people. One may be an Aries, one may be a Cancer, one may be an Air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Who you pick at that point, that's going to be up to you, but you're going to have like a lot of options here. Also potential Pisces now. Yeah, Pisces. High Priestess. Oh. Um, Ten of Swords. I don't like the Ten of Swords, though. I never like it in readings. Okay, there's the Tower. There's the Page of Cups. There's Judgment. I don't like this. Why? We have to clarify what's going on with this. Because I don't like this vibe. Clarify the Tower. There's the High Priestess again, there's the Ace of Cups, there's the Three of Cups. You see, there's something going on that you've had an intuition about all along. It gets revealed to you, Aquarius. It's like you didn't know, but you, you do know now. And it's something to do with some sort of betrayal. It, it pops up as a surprise here, or somehow it's surprising but it's like you've had this intuition of this all along and this is something this I feel like this is something from the past or this is something you already know about this is not really anything new but I feel like it's just when it happens you're like okay I can finally move on now here like I can finally let this go fully Aquarius we also have to connect with Archangel Gabriel here with the judgment we have an angel on there Six of Pentacles, there's a King of Wands, there's a King of Wands again, but look, there's a Ten of Pentacles this time, there's the world, there's a completion of a cycle, so there's a completion of the past, the past is the past, and like I said, you're able to move on from it now, you're able to let it go now, and going towards something else. We also have an abundance of wealth coming in, we have the money on this card, we have the family, we have the home, we have the dogs here, Aquarius, there may have been two people you blocked, so yeah, it looks like you're fully letting go of the past, it was, it was something to do with a relationship that ended in a betrayal, here but it feels like you knew about the betrayal all along but now you're looking towards your future you're like okay i can let that go now now i can go do these other things that i've been wanting to do you know you can go explore life now you can go travel do whatever here we have a king of pentacles it feels like you're going to be focusing more on your career though and i do see like i said i do see a happy relationship coming in because it's like you have some sort of new love coming in aquarius here, and it could be somebody stable here with the King of Pentacles. It could be an earth sign coming in, Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, or it's just somebody here that's very good with their, their money, their finances here. Um, tower, you see, you're letting go of the past, letting go of people that have wasted your time and made you live in regret, depression, even people here that have betrayed you and acted very sneaky, lied to you even here, spread rumors or whatever. But you people here that cause stress in your life. You're, you're closing yourself off to those people here. It feels like you're done with it. You're done with the burdens of it, Aquarius. You've invested a lot into it. And I feel like you reviewed it and you're like, okay, I'm, I'm done with this. I've seen the truth of it. Now you're going into something else, Aquarius. Cutting it off here. We're sending up boundaries. We have the Queen of Wands now. Now there's a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. There's a fire sign that's coming in to speak to you. It could be a Leo 
coming in to speak to you. This person wants to move forward on something with you. They're rushing in to speak to you here. They either want to want to speak to you about some sort of new idea they have, or this could be new love coming in that's that's rushing in and wants to move forward with you. Like I said, you're going to have choices. You're going to have options. Who you pick, that's going to be up to. What you do, that is going to be up to you, Aquarius. Now then, we've done a majority of this video with a lot of tarot, and I'm going to pull at least one oracle card to kind of see see on the spiritual side. I feel like we need to get some sort of spirituality into this reading because this reading has been very drama-y and I, I don't really care for drama readings, to be honest. Um, okay. Let's pull one card. We have number 32 with the Tai Chi rising. So let's see. So this says your energy field is growing stronger with more spiritual electricity pulsing through your being. Take time to nourish your nervous system as it adjusts and be gentle with yourself as you adjust to increasing levels of spiritual potency, which gives more impact to your words, actions, and thoughts. Okay, so your, your energy is growing, Aquarius. Having a big energy field does not necessarily mean that you have a high level of consciousness. But when you do have... An exquisite awareness and a beautiful light, it is able to shine more brightly through a larger energy field, whatever you have within you. A larger energy field will reveal it with greater gusto. You have a special light within you, and the elegance and beauty and refinement of that light wishes to express itself more potently in the world of form so that others may receive healing and refine their light too. You can help teach others about the power of gentleness, that force is not required, and that kindness can be the most healing and powerful balm of all for this to happen more so now your energy field is growing it is like having a bigger light globe through which to shine your light so that it is more visible as your energy field grows your words and thoughts have more potency like getting used to driving a car with more powerful en engine take your time and be careful as you realize the impact that your actions and thoughts will have in the world of forms now you do not need to worry about this. You can go into your heart and trust that you will exercise your will and potency in the world through surrendering. I don't know what they're cooking down there, but it smells good. Anyway, surrendering into your heart. Where your own Kuan Yin nature will guide you into compassion and the right action. Let your energy field continue to grow through chanting, meditation, energy work, and healing. And whatever else intuitively feels right for you. This oracle is confirmation that the growth is happening and needs to happen for you now. So that you're able to do your life's work most effectively. And here's like a healing thing we can do. This says stand comfortably with your feet hip width apart. And your hands hanging relaxed at your sides. Feel your feet connecting with the ground and gently rock on your heels and balls of your feet. Say aloud. I call upon the unconditional love, light, and power of the earth now for my greatest good. Then, slowly draw your hands up in front of your body, palms facing inwards. As you extend them above your head, straight to the sky. Imagine that you are pulling earth energy up from your feet and out through the top of your head. Say aloud, I call upon the unconditional love, light, and power of heavenly forces now for my greatest good. Then, imagine slowly pulling the light of heaven down through your body. As you draw your hands down in front of your body, slowly, palms facing your body and slightly downwards, stop at your navel. Rest your hands in front of your navel and close your eyes being aware of light traveling up through your body and out through the crown of your head and down from the heavens through your body and into the earth. Two flows of energy, earth and heaven, forming a column of bright, loving energy which surrounds you and extends below you into the earth and above you into the heavens. Breathe peacefully here in this column of light and when you are ready, Open your eyes. 
Okay. And then here's a prayer. It says, through the mercy and compassion of Kuan Yin and my own free will, may my energy field grow to meet the needs of my soul light. May I be strong, merciful, powerful, and wise in equal me measure. May I be loving and potent with temperance and peaceful intention. Okay. So that is what I have for you. If you guys want to see more content, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And also go check out my website. It's free to sign up and join. But I will see you guys later. Okay? So goodbye.